Hey guys, it's NJ Yub. I hope you're all doing well. Had a good Christmas and have had a happy New Year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a New Year for everyone now, even with the time difference. And I hope that you're all staying safe. Today I have a special video. I drew a character that many of you all will be familiar with if you'll watch Drawing with Waffles, aka Rin. So today I drew her original character. Her name is Sage. I think she has about four videos up about them, two of which she explains the Hyacinth and Sage story and one where she draws using needle and thread and ink and another where she designs clothing for the universe that Hyacinth and Sage in, are in. So today I drew Sage uh, with her cats who is yet to be named. And I used alcohol based markers instead of inks because I don't have inks. I use alcohol based markers. Um, yeah, so drawing this was kind of difficult because I only have about six colors that are like in a grayscale. So finding and like blending those colors together, it got difficult, but I managed to do it. And yeah, it was really fun designing this, well, not designing, coloring the character and trying to use um, my limited colors to create this piece, art piece. So I tried my best to blend the grays, but I oh, my markers are bullet nib and chisel nib and not brush tip, so it was a little harder to blend and I tried blending using the bullet tip and then I realized it's not as good as if you used your chisel nib so then later on in the video i switched from using the bullet nib to color to using the chisel nib so in drawing with waffles original um illustration of sage she used inks and she created these really cool gradients at the bottom of her illustration i also tried doing that but it didn't turn out as good because blending with these markers were difficult but then i managed to save it after like trial and error yeah and also while i was coloring the hair which i'm doing now it's I realized that it's right next to her dress which is also black and then and that there might not be enough contrast so yeah but it ended up looking fine at the end oh, but what really got me nervous about this piece was drawing the hands they were really difficult and when I realized I had to color the dress or skirt full back and I had to go in between the fingers and I did not have a small enough tip I got really nervous but I ended up using my micron um, to color around the fingers and it ended up blending really well with the alcohol markers not where they mixed but they looked like they're the same medium if that makes sense yeah and if the audio sounds a bit funny that is because I'm using uh, a new software to edit the video and I'm using their voiceover feature and it makes the audio I feel sound distorted in a way so yeah it it was kind of it, it is kind of weird if you listen to it well, well yeah um, so now I am coloring around the fingers and you will see that I go in with my micron after I finish coloring in the skirt uh, just to get into the small places between the fingers without messing it up so because my fine line is 0 0.4 which was thick um, for the line art my fingers also did come out like a little squashed and um, yeah so I had to compromise and it ends up looking like four white lines but I think I managed to salvage it I did the sketch for this drawing like three days ago and then I wanted to make a video because I liked the way it was turning out I wanted to make a video where I lined it and colored it so yeah that's what I did so 
Also, when coloring the hair, because I used the bullet nub, I couldn't get into the like the pointy part of the hair, which is right at the tips. So then I ended up just coloring it with marker and coming back with the micron to make the tips again. I went in with the jelly roll to add in highlights, and when I was uh, adding blush to the face with the, I think it was warm grade three. I ended up using too much on the too much brush on the face and I thought it looks a bit weird or like she was sick but in the end with everything else and the grey background it started to look fine so I didn't mind it after that. Drawing the cat that was really a challenge for me because I don't normally draw animals and when I do they don't turn out well but I feel like this cat it came out fine and I really liked it at the end and the shading I was proud of myself for shading the cat the way I did. I really had fun with the tail. Um, I felt like using an angular tail since um, like I wanted to create these angular geometric shapes in the background instead of just like blobs. So if I like, so if I made the tail angular as well as the background, it would seem more cohesive. And even the hat, the tip of the hat, is angled. So I wanted to make that seem more cohesive. So yeah. So yeah, I really had a lot of fun creating this piece. Um, enjoy the rest of the speed paint. And at the end of the video, there's a slow down version where I show you a close up of the drawing. So yeah, make sure to stay for the end. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your new year. Goodbye. Thank you.